Hi, my name is Frank. Hopefully you already watched our M1600 introduction video, which means you are now ready to dive into the Power Optimizer installation guidelines for commercial ground mount and utility systems. Let's see how the optimizers are physically installed. As you may already know, the M1600 Power Optimizer has two separate inputs, one primary and one secondary input. This is clearly indicated on the optimizer backside. Each input supports the connection of one or two 72 cell modules rated up to 400 watt peak each. This brings us to a total of four PV modules per M1600 power optimizer. You'll find more detailed electrical specifications in the M1600 datasheet, which is available on the SolarEdge website. When connecting modules to the M1600, follow these guidelines and look carefully on the PV model junction block placement to optimize installation time and DC cable usage. Here are a few more important things to remember when installing the M1600 power optimizer. The M1600 only supports serial connections of two 72 cell modules to each input. Parallel connections are not supported. Ensure that always one module is connected to the primary input at all times and do not leave any input unprotected. In case the number of PV modules in the string is not a multiple of four, it is allowed to install one M1600 power optimizer in a single string connected to one, two or three PV modules. Unlike other SolarEdge commercial power optimizers, which can be mixed and matched on the same string, the M1600 can only be installed with other M1600 units in the same string. It is not supported to connect another string which doesn't include any M1600s to the same inverter. Find more information in the application note linked in the description below. Finally, we always recommend that you validate your PV design using the SolarEdge Designer. Thank you for watching the M1600 installation overview, and I hope you'll join us again soon for more SolarEdge product videos.